I'll now address the concept of a p-value. A null hypothesis is basically stating that the variables have no significant relationship or difference. If we do find that there is a statistically significant relationship or difference, then we reject that null hypothesis and go from there and look at the effect size. The p-value is the probability the effect was due to chance uh, or some random sample error. Essentially what that means is if the value is greater than our alpha level, which I will describe shortly, then our results are just simply due to chance. Nothing, there was no, no impact of that independent variable on the dependent variable. The R value is the size of the effect or strength of that relationship or the size of the difference. I have, I explain that in great detail in another video. The alpha level is the threshold to reject the null hypothesis. Commonly the, the p-value is less than 0.05, the alpha level might be 0.01 or 0.001. These lower values like a 0.001 for instance may be applied in the medical field because we don't want to take chance when we're dealing with medications and things that will impact people's general well-being and health. Essentially, the alpha level is the probability of incorrectly rejecting the null hypothesis. Here's an example. If the alpha level is set at 0.05, we may have training scores and some production scores. And in one test, we see that the p-value is 0.210. That is not less than 0.05. Therefore, there's no relationship. Uh, in other words, our training program is not working. There's no relationship between our training program and the production scores. Perhaps we've redesigned the training program, go through the process again of analyzing the data, and this time we determine that the p-value is 0 0.032. Therefore, it is statistically significant because it's less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis, and in this example, we determine that our training program is working to some degree.